welcome back to the channel. This is Balancing Life with Brie. I am driving, as you can see, so this is going to be a vlog style video. I'm not sure if I'm going to combine this with my What I Eat Day Wednesday or if this is going to be solo, but if you guys watched my scheduled Sunday that I put up on Sunday, you would know that I am going on a trip, a solo trip, and I am going to Columbus, which is that's where I'm on my way now. These are like the best roads so far to start filming because literally Ohio roads are garbage. Whatever. So it's like kind of flat. So I apologize if it's still bouncy. Yet again, still trying to figure out what I want to do for car vlogs and stuff like that. Because I'm debating on getting an actual vlogging camera. I don't really know what I want to do yet. But anyway, this is a vlog because I am going to Columbus all by myself. So if you guys watched the last video, you know about Greg and I, all that. So I wanted to do something for myself and I wanted to go somewhere by myself and just like enjoy my own company and learn how to be alone because I think that is going to be my biggest obstacle is being alone. Like I like being alone at home when I'm like just hanging out, like that's nice, but I've never truly gone places and just done stuff 100% by myself. I do travel a lot for volleyball but when I travel for volleyball, I have my volleyball parents, I have the girls, like I have people around. This is just me. So I am breaking one of my fears today, going someplace completely by myself. I'm going to go to the museum in Columbus. It's called Other Worlds. It's really, really cool. If I take pictures, which I'm planning on it, I will make sure to insert some. But I'm really, really excited and I'm going by myself and it's just like really funky art museum. I was originally, last time I was in Columbus, I kept seeing all these signs for Van Gogh, like a Van Gogh exhibit, interactive one. And for some reason, I thought it was here already, but it's not. Apparently, it's not starting until October. But I also wanted to see Otherworld, so I bought my ticket for Otherworld. And then I'll go back to Columbus to go see the Van Gogh exhibit because I really like that kind of stuff. So I have this cute little dress on. It's from Sheen. Sheen, Sheen, however you say it, Shine. I have my little necklace that my mom gave me, my fun little rings, and then I have a pair of Doc Martens on with some socks that I got from Costco, but that's my fit. But yeah, I'm really excited. I don't know if I'm going to get any like pictures of just me because I don't know if I'll be able to talk to strangers and ask them to take a picture of me. Like, this is a lot going by myself, so I don't know if I could actually have human interaction too. That might freak me out. Anyway, I'm about 30 minutes out from that, and then I'm just going to stay in a hotel. My hotel does have a bar, so I might go down there and just have dinner by myself, which is another thing I have never done before. And I'm just trying to learn how to do it and be okay with being alone and being in my own presence. So, yeah, I'm just taking you guys along with me. Like I said, I'm almost there, so I'm going to shut this off, and then I will try to take some videos if you're allowed to take them inside and I'll check in with you later. I just got on the highway so I have a couple miles until I have to get off my exit for my hotel that I'm staying at but I just got done with the museum and it was really really cool and I'm really glad that I went by myself I was very nervous but it was like really dark in there and 
people are kind of like following other people anyway, so it, I don't know. Miles. Take exit 35 toward airport. I don't know if you can hear that. But I was just really, really nervous, and I like, I guess my biggest fear was just like me looking like I was alone. I don't know. It was just a weird thing for me. Also, sorry, I should have flipped the camera, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, I am very excited that I did it. Now I'm gonna go to my hotel, check in, and then I might go down to the bar at my hotel and get a drink. I don't know, we'll see. But I did it all by myself. Here's my little band showing that I went, and I have a bunch of clips that I'm gonna put in as well, but I have to get off here because I don't wanna miss my exit, but I just wanted to show you or tell you guys that I did it and I'm really proud of myself. So if you don't think you can do something, just try it because I hardcore got out of my comfort zone and now I'm like really happy that I went. So, hey guys, I am vlogging a little bit. I don't know, this is like a vlog update type situation. So it is Sunday, I just got back from my trip. I had a really, 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 really nice time. Going to the museum by myself was awesome. And then I went to dinner by myself at Rusty Bucket, which is really, really good. And then I had a drink at the hotel. So everything was actually like really, really nice and fun. And I did it all by myself, which was really cool. I did not film anything on my way back because it was pouring down rain and I wasn't about to film and pouring down rain, so. But I did go to TJ Maxx because I have to get some stuff for my house. Like, we're dividing a lot of our things, so there's some things that I already for sure know that I need to have, some things that I just want for my new space in general. So I didn't pick up a lot, but I'll show you what I got. So I got some new little oven mitts because I knew I would need some. The ones that we have, I am not keeping, so I am getting these. I just got these at TJ Maxx. They were five bucks, like you really can't beat them. And they're gray, they're cute. I got these little reusable snack bags. They're cactuses, and I thought it was just so cute. I could not pass them up, and they were $6, and there's four bags. Hashtag save the environment. One's like for chips, and then one is for like sandwiches and stuff. So I got these. I got some of these lockbox meal prep containers because I just think these are perfect for throwing everything that you need for meal prepping. And one thing, and it was $7 for seven containers, and I thought that was super, super good. You can wash these. They're reusable, good for portion control, microwave safe, dishwasher safe, and freezer safe. So I was like, okay, and they like sit in together for easy storage. And like I said, these were $7. And then the other stuff that I got is just kind of like random crap that you get when you go to TJ Maxx. This is one of those shampoo and scalp brushes with like the silicone. This will be really good for me just like get in there. I've wanted one for a really long time. So I saw it and I got it. It was only $5. Can't go wrong. And then I liked this OPI nail polish because I want to start painting my own nails at home and not pay to go get them done because hashtag saving some coin. So this is my very first knock worst. Interesting. I don't know, I thought it was a pretty color. It's like a darky, pinky nude. And then last but not least, I got this anklet and this is a moonstone anklet and I just thought it was so pretty. So I got this anklet. That's a little TJ Maxx haul, but yeah, so this is what I got. Just wanted to show you, fill you in on some stuff. I'm gonna start filling you guys in on things that I buy for my house. I do clothes, not this week, but next week. So, that's exciting. I have like paint and stuff picked out and I'll probably do like a empty house tour, air quote tour. And then um, once I start painting, I'll show you like the evolution of my home and how I'm going to decorate it. But I'm very, very excited. I did order furniture last weekend for the 4th of, the 4th of July sales. The only thing that makes me nervous is apparently there's like a huge shortage of all this stuff because of COVID. And I hope I get my furniture on time or I won't have any bedroom furniture. But I have a couch and that's all that matters. Anyway, so I'm going to get going, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a weekend with Brie. Okay guys, so now we're going to do the what I eat in a day portion of this vlog slash video in general. So it is Monday morning and I have my leftover fettuccine noodles that I made. These are the carbonata noodles. This is four points worth and then I have two points worth of Alfredo. The same Alfredo and 
noodles that I showed you guys in the scheduled Sunday video. If you haven't watched that video, make sure to link it. I have a huge bowl of pineapple because I bought a pineapple and cut it up and I'm very excited for it because pineapple is literally one of my favorite fruits. I can't wait to eat it. I have a Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar, a yogurt with my safe and fair birthday cake granola, and a strawberry applesauce. I do have my iron flask filled with water as well as my protein coffee and my morning go-go -go juice, which is my diet cranberry juice and a sugar-free Red Bull which that's zero points, the protein coffee's two points. So I'm gonna get this stuff packed up. I will check in with you guys later. I did not go to the gym this morning. I was very, very tired. I did not sleep well. So real life, I'm gonna get this packed up. Okay guys, I love that. Okay guys, it is car vlog time. Sorry if it's sunshiny, I'm doing the best I can. But just to update you guys on my home, buying experience all the crap that I have to go through right now so I just left my new insurance office I did have like Allstate but Allstate's gotta go it's way too expensive so I switched insurances and I'm really excited because they're doing my home and auto so it's like the bundle or whatever but it's a heck of a lot cheaper than Allstate Allstate literally was I was spending so much money now I know. I'm like, geez. Sorry, I'm merging onto the highway. You know, I gotta be safe. Gotta be safe. But, so, I just finished there. It's gonna be literally so much cheaper every single month. And I'm very excited about that. Because going from a two-income household to a one-income household is gonna be really stressful. But I think I'll be... Well, I know I'll be fine. I'll be fine. But, whatever. So I did just do that. I'm also in the process of switching basically everything under the sun. It's honestly kind of giving me anxiety. So I have to set up my electric for my new house. I have to set up my trash for my new house. I have to set up, figure out which cable slash Wi-Fi internet that I want to have. The thing with that for me is I watch TV, but I don't watch a lot of TV, but the TV that I do watch is like special channels. So like, I like to watch the Food Network. I like to watch Nickelodeon. Like, I don't even care. I love to watch Nickelodeon. I love SpongeBob. You guys know that if you've been around for a while. But if I don't get cable, I'm not going to be able to watch those. But I saw this thing. It was called like Fibo, Farlo, Philo, I don't know, PH, PH something. And apparently it is like... Uh, streaming service it's $25 a month and it gives you all of those channels and looking at the deals and stuff it would be cheaper for me to just get plain Wi-Fi and that versus getting Wi-Fi and a TV bundle because like I'm paying like a hundred and thirty some dollars for spectrum and it's just that's insane nobody has time for that I don't have time for that no so getting that all switched over I have we have like our like joint bills like whatever that we have to figure out and all that fun stuff so I've been doing that but we close on Friday for the home that we're selling so it's sad because I love my house but I'm also very excited for my new adventure because I love my new house too and I might do like an empty house tour and then show you guys how I'm going to be changing it a little bit because I'm going to be painting and doing all that kind of stuff. I'm going to get the carpets clean and I'm going to paint before I move in. I have like really cool colors picked out and that's one thing I'm so excited about is truly everything will be my style, my vibe because it's mine and I don't have to share it with anybody. Like I'm literally trying to think of all the positives in my current life situation and that is one of them that I can just paint anything any color I want I can buy whatever piece of furniture if it's funky and weird to one person I don't care because I like it and it's my house and that's what I'm just so freaking excited for so I did pick out bedroom furniture I didn't film any of this because like I said I didn't know how long it was going to be until I was okay sharing stuff with people but I just needed to get it out because the questions were just driving me nuts if I'm being honest but I bought bedroom furniture that 
should be here by the time I move in. Fingers crossed. The only thing, well, I bought furniture, not just bedroom furniture, but hopefully that'll be here. I do have like a bed, but I don't have like my frame, which is what I bought. It's really cool. It has a like a light in the side of it. So when you like tap it, it turns on because I like to read at night. So it's like a built-in reading light that I thought was super, super cool. I do need a dresser still because the dresser that matched the rest of my stuff was like $1,400. And I was like, <laughs> no, nobody has, who has $1,400 for a dresser? I was just like, I'm good, bro. I'll find one on Wayfair. Speaking of Wayfair, I also bought like a cute setup because I, I bought a three bedroom. So one of the bedrooms will be a guest bedroom. One ba bedroom is my master. And then another bedroom will be a YouTube, like basically YouTube dedicated room where I will do my editing and do any like work on the computer or that kind of stuff. Just like an office, but I don't do like work from home, that kind of stuff. So my office will be pretty much dedicated to YouTube and I'm really excited for it. I have all these crazy ideas planned and I don't know guys, I'm just very excited for like my next chapter, my next adventure. I'm terrified, but I'm also really, really excited. So I just wanted to fill you guys in and keep you updated on that. I plan to, as I start ordering stuff and as stuff comes in, I'm gonna start filming it just so you guys can get like the moving vlog and all that kind of stuff. I am nervous about it, but yet again, it'll be fine, it'll be fun. So, I'm gonna get off here. I'm going to check in with you guys when I make dinner. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be a long one. But I will check in with when I make dinner and yeah, TTYL. Okay guys, so it's dinner time and I want to apologize for my hair. It's literally out of control. I get it done tomorrow. We're gonna to say goodbye to the red and I'm going back to like a naturally brown. I'm just tired of having red conditioner all over my house. So I'm making lasagna soup tonight. I got this recipe from Emily Bites blog. I'll make sure to put the recipe in the description box. But first things first, I have this Laura's Lean Ground Beef. It's the 96.4. Before I cook this up, I have another container here and I'm going to put half of it in this container because I am not going to be using all of this today. I'm going to use half of the meat today and half of the meat tomorrow. I am cutting this recipe in half because it is literally just me. I'm cooking for myself. So anyway, so I'm going to start and I'm going to cook up this and I'm also going to chop a yellow onion. It calls for one whole onion and I probably still will use a whole onion because I love onions, but I'm going to separate this and start cooking it up and I will take you along the whole journey with me. Okay, I just have to laugh. Why does it look like Jackson literally does not have an arm? <laughs> it makes me laugh. Okay, sorry. Anyway, so I have my skillet here. There's a piece of dog hair in it. Welcome to my life. And I have the one half of the ground beef. I already put the other half away. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put that bad boy right in there. I did get one of these. My mom actually had a pampered chef party and I got one of these like meat things. I know you can literally get them like everywhere, but hashtag supporting my mom, but this helps the ground beef like cook throughout and it helps give you like a really nice, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it's good for ground beef, even though it's like all getting stuck in there right now and I look like I'm fibbing. I'm not, once it starts cooking, it works super, super well. But anyway, I'm gonna cook this up and then I'm gonna start cutting an onion. I'm not gonna show you guys me cutting this onion because if you guys have been around for a while, you know that I literally cannot cut an onion to save my life. So I'm gonna do my best off camera. Okay guys, as you can see, the meat is like halfway cooked. Some of it's cooked, some of it isn't. I went ahead and added that onion in and I'm just gonna let it all cook together. See, this works a lot better now that the meat's like cooked a little bit more, but I'm gonna let the onions cook down and then I will show you the next steps once I'm there, but I'm gonna cook this up and I'm gonna finish cooking this up. Okay guys, as you can hear, this is super cooked up. Now I'm just gonna add the ingredients. Remember, I am halving this, so here is the minced garlic. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of this right in there. I also did turn down the heat a little bit just so Everything doesn't burn. It still sounds like it's super hot, but I'm gonna add that garlic. 
I'm gonna add Italian seasoning. I'm gonna need a half a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. This is the Italian seasoning I use. I need one teaspoon of dried basil. Technically with the real recipe, so I'm gonna use a half. Getting this off is the hardest thing for me, guys. So I think I'm just gonna yellow it, if I'm being honest. Okay, looks great for me. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Some black pepper. And some crushed red pepper flakes. You can measure these out, but I'm just eyeballing. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I transferred everything into this bigger pot because now we're going to make the soup portion of everything. So next I'm going to take this tomato paste and I'm going to put one tablespoon in. The OG recipe calls for two tablespoons, but as you guys know, I am half in this. And struggling to get this tomato paste out, clearly. But, so I'm going to add the one tablespoon of tomato paste and mix that in with the meat and make sure everything gets coated with that. The tomato paste is kind of thick, so you kind of want to get it warm, I guess, so it disperses better. Next, I'm going to get out two cups of this beef broth. This is the 50% less sodium beef broth. So I have two cups of that added, and then I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so next I'm gonna add these crushed tomatoes. This is a huge can, I do not need this. I wasn't thinking when I got the stuff to make this, so I only need half of this. It's about half, so that's what I'm gonna put in here. Mix it up. For the pasta sauce, I'm using my own crock pot marinara sauce, and I need a half a cup of that, so I have it in these containers already. Have that added, and the next and last final step, all I need to do is add the noodles. All right, now I have four ounces of those broken up lasagna noodles in here. Well, if you're making the full recipe, you're gonna need eight ounces, but I have four, and I'm not gonna throw them in there just because, well, I mean, not hard at least. I don't want it to splash up on me. I'm gonna add those. When you're making this, make sure to put, like fully submerge the noodles so they cook all the way. And what you're gonna do is wait until this starts to boil and then turn it down and let it simmer for 15 to 18 minutes until the noodles are cooked and then we're gonna add the rest of our fun stuff. So I'm gonna let this cook, I'm gonna start putting some stuff away and I will be back to update you guys. Okay guys, so the last step to put in your lasagna soup is the fat-free half and half. This is the one that I use, it's the Land of Lakes, and I'm gonna be putting in a quarter cup. So just go ahead and pour that directly in, mix it up, let it cook for a little bit longer, and then we're done. Guys, this is seriously so easy to make. I've literally whipped this up in probably less than 30 minutes and it is so stinking good look how creamy that looks oh i'm so excited and then you add the ricotta cheese on top and i'm telling you guys this is one of my favorite meals it is so delicious and it's so so easy to make and i am proving to you right now if you do what i had on my scheduled sunday you can reuse the same ingredients so you're not wasting food and you're not eating the same thing every single day because i can't do that so this is my dinner and i will show it to you all plated all right guys so lasagna soup is done i don't want it to slosh everywhere let me see i don't know what i'm doing here we go it's like i've been doing this for a year or something and i still mess up it's it's fine okay so i have this ricotta cheese this is the low fat ricotta cheese from kroger and that is what i'm going to put on top of this so you put two tablespoons so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna mix this all up because I like the way it tastes when the ricotta cheese is all melted. And I'm gonna have this. So from Emily Bites website, this is five points on the blue plan for one and one third cups of the lasagna soup. I will show you. 
Let me take you off here, vlog style. It did make this portion and this portion. So even though I cut it in half, it still made three. I'm gonna give this to one of the guys that work tomorrow and then I'm gonna take that for my lunch. So just so you know, if you decide to make this, it made three portions for me. Okay guys, so dinner was absolutely 10 out of 10, would recommend, but it is dessert time. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you're not, I'm gonna go ahead and put it down on the bottom of the screen. Come hang out with me there. I post there every single day, but I made two different flavors. I showed you guys how to make one. So I take this light whipped topping from Kroger and I mix in some sugar-free jello pudding mix. So this is like my chocolate ice cream right now. And then I use the cheesecake one as well. It smells seriously so good. So I just wanted to show you the chocolate one and then here's the cheesecake one. I mixed one package of the cheesecake mix with it. So I wanted it to taste like an actual cheesecake, guys. So I'm putting two tablespoons of the mixture of the, the sugar-free jello and the whip topping. Oh my gosh, my brain's not working. So two tablespoons, give or take. I was close. I don't have any clean tablespoons, but I just used this regular spoon to scoop it out. And then I made it a little ice cream sandwich. Check it. So this is a three point sandwich. The one honey made cracker is two points and then two tablespoons of this specific light whipped topping is one point. So this is a three point cheesecake ice cream sandwich and this is gonna be my dessert for tonight. Like I said, I could make it chocolate if I wanted to do like a chocolate graham cracker or just regular with chocolate, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat this for my dessert. And I think I'm gonna close out this video vlog montage of videos. So, if you guys like videos like these, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And as always, I want you to remember that every day is a new day to pop up and drop those pounds. Bye guys.